after we consult with the crystal ball, <laughs> now it's actually uh, a very complex process that goes in this. So I'm going to tell you a funny story that answer the question. When I, my first year here, I was walking into Manakee, and there was a, 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 one of our colleagues stopped me downstairs. She says, Dr. P, did you see the weather? And I said, oh, yeah, I saw the weather. She said, so are we going to close early? And I kind of looked at her, and I said, excuse me? She said, um, you know, did you, you saw the weather. And I said, what I saw the weather says that we are anticipating, <laughs> keyword, one to two inches over the next 12 hours. So I said, based on what I just saw and heard, we're not closing early because we, we this not even real snow, right? It's anticipated snow. So I carry my, and I said, y'all should have got the guy from Florida because sister girl from Chicago, we're not going to just close the college for that. So my first two years here, I drove the uh, Marshall crazy. Marshall Moore, he was a senior VP for me. So every time he, I'd make, because according to policy, I don't make the decision which is actually probably the best interest of the college. I don't make the decision. It's actually made by the senior VP for administrative and fiscal services. They make the decision after they have gone through a serious consultative uh, re conversation. The big thing about this is if the campuses can be safe to allow faculty, staff, and students to come on. Now, we also know that the only reality can't just be our campuses. It also has to be a consultation with what's happening within the locale that we are in the county, understanding how snow removal has gone, if they actually put salt down the night before, if there are a multitude of accidents that occur, occur, all the complexities that go into that. And these people get up at 3 o'clock in the morning. And I'm not joking because I don't do it. They do it, and they have a conversation. And then Marshall used to call me Dr. Pollard. And, I was, and that's why I started calling him Denzel, because he would call me in the middle of the night at like 5 o'clock in the morning. I'm like, Denzel, what you doing? Uh, but, but what became very important about that is that they go through a very collaborative process with the county, sometimes the state, and then also with the local municipalities to understand the impact. We also coordinate and have conversations with MCPS. We have conversations with the county government, all the major players in the area, and certainly also look at major employers. All of that being said, it's also dependent on the weather forecast. So if I'm correct, on that Friday the 1st, uh, the weather forecast was an interesting one. They said, because uh, I kept hearing the guys, uh, John, when I would walk into CT, hey, John, he said, I said, I was going in and out for several meetings that day, and he said, he said, oh, you see the snow? He said, well, they say it's going to stop by noon. So every time I go out, he'd tell me again, it's going to stop by noon. I said, okay. So we all thought it was going to be one to two inches, and it's going to stop by noon. We live in the mid-Atlantic region, y'all. Snow is going to be a reality for us. We got to deal with it every once in a while. So we didn't think, and I, you always correct me, that we needed to close that particular day. I didn't get the call from Donna. We got to close early. We're going to go ahead and see this through. I can remember a couple years ago, we had significant issues. We were closing multiple days uh, during the first couple weeks of the spring semester. And that actually started to impact learning because particularly those uh, folks who had um, lessons that could not be uh, collapsed into other things or students had to do certain types. I think it was almost every Monday and two, some, it was some odd, we were almost out of school because of the weather. It really started to become problematic. So closing school is one of our last options. Uh, maybe if we lived in Atlanta, maybe if we lived in Orlando. I remember my grandfather lived in Hattiesburg, Mississippi, and it snowed, and you thought it was the apocalypse because the whole Hattiesburg shut down. But we are in Maryland, and unless somebody says it's going to be a major calamity, uh, we keep it open. But we do consult widely. Sometimes we're going to get it wrong. Sometimes we're going to get it wrong. I, but I do believe more often than not we get it right. So thank you.